Come on. Nora, this is the fifth time he's calling you this morning. Pick the call and hear him out. I can't talk to him right now. Look, the service is almost on us. Besides, I'm assisting you with your dress. Get up. Let me help you out. Come okay. on. We are late, so let's go. We're Don't late. worry, we're almost done. I can handle the rest myself. Pick your call. If I pick this call now, this man will talk from now to tomorrow. He doesn't know when to stop. We still have half an hour before the church service. So pick the call and oblige him the long talk. Okay, I'll. I don't call her. I'm not going to talk to him here. I'll talk to him outside. Oh, feel free. I don't call her. Feel free, girl. Please come and help me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm super excited today. I am too. To walk down the aisle. Honestly. It's my day. I know, baby. <laughs> I see that again. Why is she even dodging her boyfriend's phone? I don't know. <laughs> think no ah, but I told you I was are you serious when baby I told you I was I was coming for my girlfriend's wedding I will sort things out all right we will <laughs> Thank you. Your hair is so beautiful. Aww. I love the color combo. It's always my best. Oh, really? And these are fresh flowers, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Scent so good. I love it too. Oh, you made a very beautiful bride, my friend. Oh, who is that? Okay, um, Jenny, please get the door. You ordered for something? Yes, I do. Oh. Hold on. Oh. What took you so long? Sorry, my manager called me for a brief meeting. Sorry, I forgot to inform you guys. It's okay. It's okay, just close it up. Just close it up. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. So, I really need some juice right now. All right, darling. <laughs> so, oh, you just have to do some shit. A sharp pain on my stomach. Yeah, tummy. I, I, I think it's a drink or something. <sighs> because I haven't been feeling fine since I, I drank that drink. So what are you going to do about it? So sorry. Oh. So what are you going to do about it? Uh, you know what? I will take the necessary pills in the car. Okay. okay. But first of all, I need to use the toilet. Okay, oh, yeah, fast, okay. Please. So please tell Nora and the driver that I will, I will be back in the jiffy. Okay, that's okay, fine. Please, I'll do that. Please, please. All right. Oh, good. Okay. Easy, just easy. Oh, they're so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm just gonna do something. Just walk slowly. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. 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 oh my God, what is this now? There's no time. I'm sorry. Nora, <laughs> it's going to be a night marriage on your wedding day, Diana. Yeah, hello. Hello. It worked. Yes. She just rushed back to the room to make it a toilet. Exactly. Okay. All right. <laughs> Mission accomplished.
if you then scream, you will complete it amongst your forefathers in the yonder. I, I, I wouldn't scream. I wouldn't scream. What do you want? Better. So let's get down to business. Business? I, I don't understand. I don't know you. I know you. But that doesn't matter anymore. Please, what do you want? What do you want? I want you. you. I want to have you right here, right now. So don't bother about your gown. Take your pants off and bend over. No, no, no. No, no, please. You want to rape me? Today is my wedding day. Ariana, if I have to remove your pants myself, what will penetrate to will be the nozzle of my gun to release bullets and not my penis to release power. Please. Please. No, Don't no. do this. It's my wedding day. Please. What are you guys doing out here? Where's Ariana? She went to ease herself upstairs in her room. Yeah, she had a uh, stomach upset. Stomach upset? But I got a strange call from someone asking me to rush down to the hotel. That I need to resolve an issue. Otherwise, my wedding will be ruined. What are you all telling me, Nora? Actually, I, I was trying to call her before you came. Let me just call her quickly. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're here already. Okay, don't bother coming inside. I'll meet you outside, okay? Um, Nora, please, I have to meet up with the cow guy. Taking me to the house so I can dress up properly for this wedding, okay? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Baby, baby, that's not what you think. Baby, that's, that's not what you think, honey. I can explain. Uh, on, uh, yes. on, our, on our wedding day? No, 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 honey. Uh, um, um, don't, 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 sir, sir, please. I am so, so, so sorry. It's all her fault. Like, she, she, she's my girlfriend from way back in school. She told me today it's her wedding day that I should come have fun with her in the hotel room. She gave me the number. She gave me the, the hotel name. That's why I came. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't. Stop! 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 Baby, that's not true. No, no, no. That's, that's not true. He's lying, baby. Baby, please. Baby, please. No! No! <laughs> Who are you? Who? Who? Who are you? Jack. My name is Jack. And that is all the deal that brought me here, permitted me to tell you. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is a blackmail. This is a freaking setup by who? Who sent you? If I were you, Ariana, I will go after him, try to solve this situation. You are in the wrong place, wasting your time talking to the wrong guy. Damn you! Damn you! I curse you! I cursed whoever that sent you to do this to me. Both of you are cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you 
crying? Where have you been? I've been calling you on the phone. Nora, Nora, Nora. The devil just happened. Why are you going to with pants in your hand? Kapandi. We're waiting. At our usual spot. Okay. I don't know why you insist on keeping me here till you get your balance. Is it a sort of hostage or something? You see, I and Kapandi. We go way back in university days, all right? And we have trust issues. I know him too well. So it's only evident that I keep you until I get my balance. See, I don't know why you're living on the basis of the fear that he's not gonna balance you after the job. He's a very rich guy. He's even depending on this money, he has money. <laughs> please just let me go, please. Oh yeah, I know that. He has money. He's a very rich guy. Of course. Now you see, if you want me to trust him, are you ready to give me the balance right now? And I'll let you go. The answer is no. So he doesn't trust us. That's why he gave us installment. He paid us the first installment and he's bringing the rest before I set you free. So there's no cause for an alarm. When he brings the money, I'll let you go. Alright? I don't like... Shut up! I'm done debating with you. I'm impressed. You brought my balance. Oh, sure. In the bag. Complete. I see. Complete. Uh, right, right here. First thing first. I would like to see Jenny. That's Jenny. Uh, uh, I don't get my balance right now. Pull yourself together, Jenny. You're safe now, okay? Please stop telling me to put myself together. Tell me, why did you have to kill them? To keep our secrets secret. You know what I mean? It's no longer a secret with those hardened criminals alive. The blackmail is very, very obvious. Yes, if not, tell me. Why did they decide to hold you hostage until I give them the balance of their money? Have you thought about that? You were right. You were very, very right. They can't be trusted. At all. But then, that was too many violent deaths on a close range that I've seen today. Too much for my nerves. Damn! I understand. Oh my God. 
I understand. You know, it's like that sometimes. Yes, when there's tussle, a few hairs must roll. That's life for you. <sighs> By the way, yeah. Have this. Oh. Call yourself, you. okay? Thank you so much. As if you knew I trust me. Oh my god. <laughs> I know you're gonna need it. Oh god. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm. You're welcome. Um, and um, I hope you know I didn't do this, Ariana, just because of the money. Of course, I remember my promise of getting married to you. <sighs> but you what? Let's take this one at a time. You know, I'm still faking it. Faking the morning. I'm acting like I'm, I, I'm crying or mourning her and all that. Let's do it for, so, for a while, okay? Mm. But I promise you what? I'm going to get married to you. Come what me. Really? I love you, baby. I love you so. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, baby. <sighs> no one is taking away from me. You know, that's why I love you. I, I love have you to do too, everything baby. to make it possible. <laughs> Relax. <sighs> oh my god, I don't know. <sighs> oh! My stomach! Oh! <sighs> what is wrong? Relax. Oh! Relax, Jenny. Make your death an easy one. Okay? You see, <clears throat> I don't know why you trust me. How can you just have trust in me like that? I mean, what, what, what makes you think I will fulfill the promises I made to you? I'm only human. I'm, I'm, I'm not immortal. I'm mortal. Send me well. It's in the four parts of it. Sorry, Jenny. I didn't plan and executed these heinous crimes I committed against Ariana on our wedding day in order to clear the way for me to get married to you as I liked to you. I told you the lie so you will agree to play the role you played in the whole thing. I did it because of someone else. I did all I did to create the space for me to marry Nora instead. Yes, it's Nora I want to marry and it has absolutely nothing to do with love. I need her in my life for something far more important to me than the love of a woman. Something so important to make me have my fiancé murdered on my own wedding day, utterly ruined. Now that I have got everything perfectly wrapped up, by eliminating those fools 
and returned to my hotel and reserve suit undetected. It is time to engage my brain to come up with a watertight plan on how I will get Nora to agree to marry me. On that one, failure is not an option to me. No, never. In fact, if I have to use supernatural powers to make it happen, I will. Where is this boy? And yes, you have the keys. Please wash the car. Okay. I'll be going out in the chief. my word, the reason why I'm still alive. <laughs> the youngest senator to be. Mm. How you doing? I'm fine, darling. Mm. Don't choke yourself. <laughs> Where are you headed? I have a political meeting to attend. Oh, really? I'll see you when I come back. Okay, babe. Be good. Sure. And you be careful. Wasting your time. That door will never open. Today is a day of vengeance and justice. Please, I 
Diana, please, please, I'm sorry. Have mercy. Please, I'm, so, I'm sorry for... The weapon for your execution is already in my hand. No, 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 please, please. No, no, please. No, 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 no. Is it? So it's a dream. A nightmare. Nightmare? What kind of nightmare will make you quiver like this? It, it, it got repeated in my dream. What got repeated? Ariana's tragic death. Baby, come. Come. It's just a dream, all right? You'll be fine. Just, it looks so real. It looks so... so real. Oh, God. Oh, why would you make this happen to me? Huh? Why? How can I be made to to relieve the most horrible horrible day of my life in my dreams every now and then? Can't whatever that's behind it realize that Ariana's death you see stay emotionally difficult for me to handle. Why? Why me? All the time. All the Look, time. it's just a dream, baby. Right? It looks You'll be so fine. Real. No, it's a dream. Ignore it. You need to come, come to bed. Let's sleep. Come. It's just a dream. Let's sleep. Come. What is going on? Lord Daganus assured me that after the rituals, he carried out at a graveside. After her ghost rose against me shortly after her death 16 years. She will never haunt me or anyone connected to me ever again. Not even in my dream. How can she suddenly appear in my dream again with such burning fury? And why Nora this time around? Why hurt her too? She is totally innocent of her mother. She doesn't even know that I had a hand in Arena's death. So why did that ghost attack her too? No, this dream doesn't feel any good at all. Everything about it points to an unacceptable reality. Which is that somehow her ghost may have broken free or is about to break loose from the spiritual cage it was locked into and come after me and my family. I can't let that happen. Never. Lord Daganos was right. He said, once I'm done with the rituals, my family and I will be free from Ariana's angry ghost forever. My suspicion was right. 
The dream I had was a pre-warning that she's about to come after my family and I with murderous intentions. That would not happen again. We are free. Thank you, Lord Daganus. Thank you. At last. I'm so glad to be finally back to my sweet home. To the loving company of my dear parents. I'm so very happy. Brenda? Oh, Uncle Donald. Oh my God, where are my manners? Thank you so much for picking me back from school. You don't have a problem. You know, as your uncle, I would do anything for you as my baby niece. And I must say, congratulations for successfully in, uh, completing your secondary education. That was brilliant. Thank you so much, uncle. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. Brenda. Oh. You're welcome. Anief Young, how are you doing? I'm fine. Anief Young, how are you? I'm fine, Uncle Donald. You're welcome. Well, and if you're, you know, get the luggage from the boat. Okay. Take, take the key. Okay. And be careful. Ah. Yes. Mom's personal car is packed here. That means she's inside. Yes. And she has not come to work on me. Uh, she died inside with a visitor. Even at that, she Brenda, it's okay. You know, why, why not stop the complaining? Go inside and see her yourself, okay? You're right, Uncle. Again, I seem to have forgotten my manners. <laughs> it's okay. And you know what? Uncle will not follow you in there, okay? I have this meter into cash up boat. Maybe I will see you later, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, Uncle. Thank you so much. You're welcome once again. Congratulations. My regards to your wife. No problem. No problem. Ah, I need your help. Please help me with the Okay. Where am 
I doing in your bed? No, tell me. What did you do to me? What did you do to me? What am I doing in your bed? What is this? Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! Brenda, look, I, I came to, you know. You came to do what? You came to apologize. Or to explain the disgusting thing I saw you doing with your fellow lady. You own matrimonial bed, mom. How could you? How could you and Madame Helene? For God's sake, mom. You are a human leader, a politician. And it rumble rail to millions of souls, Mom. How could you? Look. Brenda, I... I don't know how to explain this to you. Honestly, I'm ashamed of myself. I... I was introduced into this... into this thing by my school mother during my secondary school days. And ever since then, I've been trying to come out of it, but I haven't been able to. I just couldn't. God, how could I do this to my, to my beautiful daughter, Saike? Mom, don't patronize me. Just stop talking. You have murdered my soul, Mom. How dare you come to me to blame someone else for... Look, Brenda, I am not trying to patronize you. You know, I'm not trying to put the blame on someone else. I... You are, Mom. You are. I'm ashamed of you. Just pray that we ever see you as my mother because you are evil, Mom. How could you do this, Mom? I am ashamed. Just get out from here. Get out. Get out of my room. <sighs> Tell me the truth, Mom. Is my dad aware that you are a... Le, le? Oh, God. I can't even say it out. Brenda. Please. I'm begging you in the name of God. Your father is not aware of this. Please don't let him know, because if he knows, I'll, I'll lose him. May my soul suffer internal damnation. In hell, if I fail to tell my daddy about it. Oh my God. May God in heaven. Oh God. Mom, you are a disgrace to womanhood. To motherhood and to God who created you, Mom. Just pray that I will ever forgive you. Because you disgust me, Mom. Mom. <laughs> Brenda, please, 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 if you... I Get out! Get out from my room, Mom! Get out!
Where is Brenda you went to call for dinner? Oh, well, I asked her to join us, but she said she wouldn't, so I want to dish her food so I can take it to her. What did you just say? Did I hear you right? You want to dish your food and take it upstairs to her room? Honey, Brenda is 16 years old and not 16 months. She's here in the house and she refused to come downstairs to join you in preparing this meal? What did I hear you say? You, you want to dish her food to take it upstairs to her. How? I don't understand. What's happening? I mean, is she glued to that room? Tell me what's happening. Well, I, I can't seem to wrap my head around it. She doesn't seem to be in a good mood and she has refused to disclose what the problem is to me. But it's nothing to worry about. Girls her age usually have mood swings. Let's give her some space. She'll come out of it. Okay? Brenda is my only child. I know her at the back of my hand. Anything that makes her lock herself up in that room cannot be explained away by male mood swing. It must be serious. And I need to find out right now. No, honey, you... This girl. Oh. How is my princess doing? Good, I suppose. Sweetheart, remember, before you left for school, after your midterm break, you and daddy made preparations for today right in this room. And I remember, you made a list of all the things you want me to buy for you. And the beautiful places you want me to take you to. Guess what? Daddy has bought every single item on that list. Maybe this will make you happier. That is also very ready to take you to all those beautiful places you want to visit first thing tomorrow morning. Me too, sweetheart. Oh, baby, okay? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Mommy is willing too. Hmm? Okay. Now talk to me. Talk to us. Why is your mood this sore? Hmm? I, I noticed you only greeted me when I came back earlier this evening. And since then, you've locked yourself in this room. Hmm? You didn't even bother to help mommy prepare the meal. And now, you have refused to join us on the dining. Princess, we have never ate separately in this house before. Why start it to do for days? Hmm? Listen to daddy. Who angered you? Tell me. Who, who, who made you angry? Tell me and... <laughs> uh, will. We will deal with that person right away. 
talk to me. Daddy. Yes. I. I will. Go ahead. Talk to Daddy. Talk to us. You're about saying something. Go ahead. Talk to me. Hmm? Okay, Daddy. Yes. I was angry that she sent Uncle Donald to pick me up from school on my final day without giving me a head up. Oh, my bad. Can you imagine? How could I? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everything will be fine, okay? It, it wasn't intentional. And Daddy was so occupied, so busy in court. And Mommy was quite busy too. Attending meetings that has to do with the next coming election. I'm sorry, okay? Honey. Yes, darling. Please don't do it again. I won't. My love, we won't do it again. Okay? I promise. Sweetheart, we won't do it again. You see, your happiness means a lot to us. Yeah. Daddy, mm -hmm. sorry. You know, Daddy loves you so much, okay? I was actually thinking it's the best thing to do. Where is the money? What money? We don't keep cash at home. There's no money. Don't let me look at myself. Because if I do, that will be with a bullet in your skull. Go. No, no, no. He's saying the truth. We, we only do electronic transaction in this house, but we don't keep cash. Okay. Please. Okay, we'll come here complain now. We look like children we come play with you now. Guy. Stay with this woman. In the next 15 minutes, if the jewelries and the 80 million naira this man carry come back this house, no come day your hand. But hope, put me call. I will make you video in two seconds. I, I swear, I swear. Hey, chill. Shh. Easy pleasure. Get off. No, don't no, pass yourself. Nah. Please, please, please. Please, no words. Please. Get to work. This is the time to start proving that you love your husband. I don't know. There's no money in this house. I don't, I don't know where to. There's no money. I'm saying the truth. Jewelries. Yes. I don't know why he keeps his jewelries. I don't know. I'm saying. I don't know. Please, please, please. Please don't let him hurt my husband. Please. Now. This is the time for you to start proving that you truly love your husband. Now. The money. There's no money. It's a million naira. Don't joke with me. Huh? Where is it? There's no money in the house. Yeah? There's no money. I'm telling you the truth. I swear to God, there's no money. No, yeah. no, no, no. Huh? Such. No. I don't know where he keeps these things. I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you the truth.
already paying hers. No, 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 yes. no, 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 please, please. You don't want your own share? No, look, look, I don't mind you doing it to me, but that girl is a virgin. She just is two years old. Don't do this. Stay at this hour, please. Please, I beg you. Please beg your colleague. The money! Please, 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 He's the only one, of course. Please do it to me, do it to me. Do it to me, sleep with me. Sleep with me, leave her alone. Spare her this horror, she doesn't deserve it. Please call your colleague to leave my daughter. Tell him to come and sleep with me. Tell him to come, I'll sleep with him. Where is the money, woman? God, please leave, please. There's no money, my child, my child. Oh no, no. Brenda, no. God, what are you? What are you? What does it do to call from boss? We're in the wrong house. Wrong house? Let's go. We're in the wrong house. Let's go. Damn it. Come, let's go. Let's go. To my daughter, oh, Brenda. Oh my God, why, why you did this to my baby? Oh, oh God. they raped my baby. Oh, God. Is she okay? She's not fine. They raped my child. Rape? Yes, yes. Rape? I prayed, oh, I pleaded, oh, we pleaded, oh. God has forsaken me. Is there still God? Hi. Let me put yourself together, okay? Listen to me. 
Yeah, once a month before you dabble into politics. Let the nurse in you come to play. Please attend to her, okay? Please. Hurry up. Get me warm water. A bowl with warm water and napkin, right please. Right away, right away. Um, where is she, please? She's in her room upstairs. Let oh. me take you there. Okay, all right. Oh, baby. Don't worry. You'll stay back, okay? Let me take him there. What do you mean I should stay back? I'm a professional nurse. I can assist him. Let's go together. Yes, I know you're a professional nurse, but I want you to stay back, please. Stay back. I'll take him there. Dick, I don't understand what you're saying. I am my mother. She's my daughter. Let me go and assist him. Uh, madam. I'm experienced madam, in this. Madam, please. There's no time for this back and forth. I can handle her alone. Please, let's go. This okay. is a rape victim we're talking about here. I don't understand what DK is doing. DK, let me go. DK, 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 stop it. DK, don't do this, DK. Hey, I told you I don't want to see your evil faces! Just go away, mommy and dad! Oh, calm down, please. It's not your parents. Who are you? I am a police doctor. A detective, precisely. You see, I'm here with my men, but they are outside. So that I can attend to your medical needs first. Brenda, we are here to give you justice. Please open the door. Doctor, yes. I mean, officer, you need to listen to me. There is something very confidential I need to tell you. And you need to act on it if you really want to give me justice. I know the person who rapes me. Really? Interesting. Very interesting. Don't worry, I will hear it all. Right? And I swear to you, Whoever did this to you must pay dearly for it. Alright? But first, I need to give you an injection so that I can be able to collect and preserve some evidence. Will you allow me? Yes, you can do you can do whatever you can. All I want is for the devil that raped me to be severely punished. So you can you can do anything, please. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just do it. Just sit on the bed.
Let's go. No, let's show that, please. Don't be scared. You'll be fine. Okay? Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Relax, just Speak relax. Speak it to me. It's fine, you'll be fine. Don't worry. So we can get the things we need to get. We need justice, right? Good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ow! You see, I told you. It's going to hurt. You'll be fine. All right? I'm through with her. Perfect. <sighs> Very good. Very good. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure you did everything as discussed? Yes, sir. She's now in coma. And will remain so for at least the next three days. Yes. And as you instructed to, I swapped her vagina in and out with a substance that will ensure that even if the best forensic expert comes now and checks her, he won't find anything to connect with the rape. Very good. Very, very good, doctor. So tell me, what about other parts of her body? I mean, the bed and the entire room. I completely wiped everywhere clean of anything that could implicate you or expose you as the rapist. Perfect, Doctor. I've always known that I can always count on you. Thank you. Anytime. Let's go downstairs. A bottle of champagne for you before you leave. Huh? He's done and gone. He's done so quickly? Yes. A rape victim? So sudden? Oh my goodness. Nora! Nora! Oh my God. What did he do to my child? What, what did okay. he do? What happened? It's okay. It's okay. She's fine. She is in an induced coma. Coma? How? In the doctor's uh, professional opinion, she needs to be induced so she can regain her emotional balance by the time she wakes up. Not to worry, she will regain consciousness in the next three days or so. Three days in induced coma? For a rape victim? What, what's actually going on? Baby, calm down, okay? Why are you telling me to calm down? Let me explain to you. You see, she being coma induced or not is equally better for both of us. You ask me why? Because we have time to deal with our own emotional balance. So by the time she wakes up, we'll have enough strength for her to draw strength from. Okay? By the way, I'm sorry the way I treated you earlier. I'm deeply sorry. Your heart is full of 
nothing of evil. Watch your back. I watch your back. Watch your back. I watch your back. Of the day, but the fly in the wind. Oh, for the moonlight. You are welcome to the chamber of mystery and power. The elements are present and listening. Thank you, Lord Daganus. Thank you. As expected of me. By the Grand Masters of the Realm. Since you gifted me wealth and spiritual aura 20 years ago, I am expected to carry on annual sacrifices. I was gifted with the power to manipulate a lady lesbian to love me and marry me. All this didn't work when the lesbian fell in love with me genuinely. Everything became useless and she became worthless to me. I had no option but to eliminate her and go for a friend who is also a lesbian who happens to be my wife presently. Lord Daganus, today I am here again to make the annual sacrifice. This time, the woman I am presenting is my wife's campaign official. She goes by the name Mrs. Helen Pepu. As I speak with you, Lord Daganus, she is in my house with my wife. As always, a loyal servant of the realm, you have kept faith with the givers of extraordinary affluence you have. And well among men. They appreciate your loyalty and dedication. The Grand Masters greets you. Thank you, Lord Daganus. Thank you. Rema, 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 Ki, Rema, Bi, Rema, Di. <laughs> Helen, I am putting in so much effort so I can get to the next level. You know, I'm currently in the House of Reps, so I love to be in the Senate. So I am trying so hard, you know, to make sure I get there. What are you saying? Of course you will. Mm -hmm. You've been putting in a lot of effort and they will definitely pay off. I know, me. you know, I hold seminars in my constituency, you know, I hold conferences. I know my people, they see me, they see what I do. Of course. Daganus. What? Why? Silence! Dikir. 
This is a disaster. A disaster you must act immediately to remedy or it will consume you. The powers of the realm having been released can never return without fulfilling his mission. Act quickly or you will die before daybreak tomorrow. A very horrible death. Lord Daganus, I beg of you. I don't want to die. What do I do? Please tell me, what, what can I do? To stay alive, you must sleep with the girl that just entered that room before daybreak tomorrow morning. Lord Daganus, the girl in question is my biological daughter. I can't sleep with my daughter. Choose between doing it and your life. Lord Daganus, please. Please, I am begging you. Please. Help me. Plead. Plead with the Grand Masters of the realm. I can do anything. Anything at all. If it means wiping the whole community. Squeezing the blood and presenting it to the Grand Masters of the realm, I will do it. I will do anything, anything at all, to sleep with my own daughter. Angry elements are hovering over your head right now, demanding your blood. If you are still here in the next minute, they will devour you. Go! Go and never show your face close to anywhere to this sacred chamber again until you are done as instructed. Go! Go! this be happening? After Brenda was born, the realm demanded that I sacrifice all the productive eggs in my wife's body to them. And I did, thereby rendering a stone dead barren, also through our lesbian activities over the years. I have helped the realm to initiate many Christian young ladies and wives in the spiritual lesbian league, with which they have been polluting and detribalizing the church across the world. Why are they frustrating me like this now? How? How can they be making this most bizarre demand of me? Because of something that neither me nor my precious daughter deliberately planned and did. Why? How in the name of common sense am I expected to do something that will completely ruin my only child? A virgin at that. No, no, I can't do it. I can't. There has to be a way out. I drove to this place from the shrine of a powerful Dibia. And he too repeated everything Lord Daganus told me in the sacred chamber. In fact, he angrily drove me out of this place. One of angry spiritual elements that were hovering over my head. Spoiling for my blood. He was emphatic that I should never attempt going to another place in search of alternative solution. What do I do now? Go home and wait for my destruction? God, I don't want to die. I don't want to die young. Anyway, 
anyhow one looks at this. I've already done worse things before now. So many worse things. It is time to set away morals and emotions and find a way to do it. Head or tail. I just can't die like that. No. It is absolutely unacceptable to me. I can't. Say no, no. A friend of mine from our frat days in the university gave me your contact. He assured me that you and your guys are professional armed robbers. Your contact was right. I took my time to organize my gang. All the gang members were rigorously screened and personally selected by me. The result is that since the gang was formed eight years ago, our operational success rate has been 100%. Perfect. Exactly what I want to hear. Good. I'll need your service tonight in an unconventional case. So what makes it an unconventional case? I want you guys to pose as some robbers and invade a certain house for a fee. Wait. You want us to invade the house posing as arm robbers for a fee? Yes. You heard me right. Just pose as arm robbers, invade the house, and give a plausible reason for leaving the house without hurting anyone or taking anything from the home. That's the reason I'll pay for your services. Deal? So whose house are we talking about here? Are you going to do the job first or not? I mean, deal? Deal. Now, I must warn you. If this is a setup, just be sure to write your will and that of your entire family. Because no one toys with my gang and live to tell the story. The man standing before you needs your operation to succeed more than you can ever imagine. Anyway, thanks for accepting my offer. Now, your price. The details first. Whose house are we invading? And why do you want us to pretend to be robbing and not rob at the end? The house in question belongs to me. The very home in which I live with my wife and our only daughter. The reason I want you to go into the house is because... How could an operation so meticulously planned fall apart so scandalously like this? A teenage girl I could easily have physically manhandled and saved myself this frustrating dilemma I am facing now and allowed emotions to get the better of me. Look at the mess that emotional foolishness has led me into. In trying to avoid hurting the daughter, 
I love more than I already did by raping her. I ended up utterly devastating her. I ended up endangering the peace and harmony of my family and the clean public image that I put everything to build over the years. The Grandmaster saw everything that happened last night. If you are here to seek solution to the problem you caused last night, then you are in the wrong place. Lord Daganus, my daughter saw me. She, she saw my face. She's aware I'm the one that raped her. I, I, the, the instruction was that you should sleep with your daughter. Not to rape her. Raping her was your personal decision. The consequences are all yours. And yours alone to handle. As a matter of fact, your annual sacrifice for the year has been completed successfully. If my daughter wakes up and tells people about what happened last night, Everything about me will be destroyed. My career, my life, everything. Please help me, please. Please do something. I have been banned by the realm from ever getting involved beyond this point, Diki. Lord Daganus, if the grandmasters are going to watch me being disgraced by my daughter, then what is the excess of everything they gave to me? What is the excess if they are going to stand aside and watch my daughter utterly disgrace me by exposing me to the world? Do whatever you must do to make sure that, apart from your daughter, your wife and other gang you use, no other ear hears about it. Else, you will run mad and remain incurable for the rest of your life. So says the Grandmaster. Skipo, yeah? thought you said we are coming here to receive our balance from Honorable Dickie. Yeah. So what's happening? I'm surprised. He's supposed to be here before us because he spoke to me 15 minutes ago and said we should be here to collect the balance. I wonder what's keeping him. See, Skifu, it not be that that man is trying to play smart move on us. He would dare not. That would be a suicide mission for him. I made that very clear to him yesterday, so don't be scared. Huh? He raped his own daughter, remember? He's such a man, not the devil himself. Relax. If he is the devil, we are worse devils. Let's look for somewhere to sit and uh, wait for him, okay? I am the devil. I don't trust lust like you will not spill out what I did to someone else out there. Now or later. That alone made you expendables. No apologies. Why were you insisting on the phone that we meet here instead of my office? I'll explain that to you later, Doctor. Did you come with the stuff? Um, yes, and that's a curious one. What do you need a little injection for? Like I said, Doctor, I will explain that to you later. 
Can I have it? Sure, sure. Um, Your Honor, it's a powerful one. You see, three millimeters of this can kill an adult in, in seconds. Very well, Doctor. Yes. Very well. Let me give you your balance. It's fine. It's with Brenda? Nobody. I came downstairs to get something from the kitchen when I heard you driving. How was the meeting you said you were going to the courts to handle? Fine, fine. We we're done. Everything went fine. Oh, sweetheart, please dry those tears, okay? Please. Time will heal our hearts as of what happened, as it does to any other thing in life. Even Brenda, she will heal over time. Okay? I promise you we'll smile together as family again. Please. Thank you. On my way back, I, I bought your favorite food. Roasted plantain and fish. You need to eat. Um, why don't you go inside, put in the plates so we eat together. While you're on that, I'll go see Brenda briefly. Alright? Okay. There you go. If you make me push this knife into your body, it will cut your right kidney into two. Your hands up! It's okay. It's, it's okay. Brenda! Brenda. How? Shut up. 
I know how irritated and disgusted you feel about him right now. But don't worry. I'll handle him. Search him. Search everywhere. Rave up. Don't be scared. Keep searching. Is that all? Search. Oh, no. I know your father. He must have some tools that he will want to use to harm us. What is that? Go on. It's not for you. Take it. If you move, I'll kill you. Brother, come behind me. You're making a mistake. Shut up! Hands up! Properly! Now, turn slowly towards the door. I'll kill you if you mess with me. Surprised that she got out of coma. Edward. Yes, mother. You came back so soon. I hope there's no problem with the laboratory tests. Uh, well, I don't know if I should call it a problem or something else, ma. I don't get it. Well, actually, I have conducted the test like you asked me to, and it is what I saw that made me to rush back to you immediately. Well, let me ask, what is your husband's pen doing in a rape victim's pant? My husband's pen? Edward, are you joking? No, not. Uh, Madam, you remember you were a staff, a senior staff for that matter of the hospital where I work as a pathologist. And your family has been using that same hospital as a family hospital for many years now. And as a matter of fact, we have the DNA signature of every member of the family saved in our system. Just as you requested, I conducted this, the, the, the test on the semen extracted from the pant. I took a step further to match the DNA signature with thousands of other records available to us. And it was indicated that the sperm belongs to your husband. Yes, I can tell you this with 100% certainty. Calm down. Um, calm down. What what really happened? I mean, who's pant? Is that? Um, Edward. Thank you for the for the information. I'll handle it from here. Okay. okay. And um, as for the. Blood sample on the pants. Please do not conduct it anymore. All right? It's okay. If I let me have the pants. Sure, sure. I, I give it to you. Sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll get you your balance right away. It's okay.
armed with that knowledge, I procured the drug that took her out of coma. When she got out, she told me everything that transpired between the both of you. Are you not ashamed of yourself, DK? How could you? So this was the reason for your drama last night. Only God knows what you are up to right now. Brenda, let me have the drug he took from his pocket. My goodness. DK! You procured the lethal injection to kill our only child? How dare you? Nora, I can explain. Explain what, you beast? Explain the fact that you raped your own daughter. You got me traumatized last night. As if that was not enough. You procured the lethal injection to kill your only child, DK. What did she ever do to you to merit this wickedness from you? What wrong did she do to you? DK! She didn't wrong me in any way. I love her. In fact, my word revolves around her. Liar! I'm not lying. Then why did you do it? I did it to save my life. If I hadn't done it, I would have been dead by now. As I speak, if any other person, aside the three of us, hears about it, I'll run out for the rest of my life. Brenda, I'm sorry. You are sorry, Dad. After all the devilish crimes you have committed, is that all you could see? What did I do that you could conceive of such evil against me, Dad? What did I do? You did nothing, daughter. Like I said, I did it to save my life. What bullshit are you talking about running mad and dying? Are you into some kind of rituals, DK? I'm sorry, I can't say more than I've said already. If I do, I will fall down instantly and die. Please just accept my apology. I am sorry. Oh my God, Mom. What has that turned into? I'm as shocked and confused as you are. But one thing I know for sure is he doesn't belong here anymore. He belongs to the police cell and I'm calling them right now. You will make us us call. Who would stop me? Me! You? Yes, I will. You won't dare. Oh, really? You think I don't know? You think I don't know what you did with Madame Ellen in this house yesterday? <laughs> Are you surprised? No, go ahead and make the call. I know about everything. Every woman you have slept with in this house, I know about them. Yes. I have secret cameras in this house. I have recorded all your lesbian activities. Yes. The disc in Brenda's hand contains all the recordings of your lesbian activities in this house. Go ahead and make the call. Let's see how it goes. Even if you kill me now, it's too late. Because this is not the only copy. There is someone out there who have copies of this disc. Who will not hesitate to make it public if he doesn't hear from me in the next 20 minutes. So I dare you to make the call. Mom, do it. Mom, call the police as we planned, Mom. Don't listen to what he's saying. Call the police. Do it, Mom. You heard her. Mom, do it. Do it. Call the police, Mom. Call the police. Go ahead and do it. Listen to him. What are you waiting for?
She has regained consciousness. Sit down. What? What, what are you doing? Why am I tied up like this? Shut up. You should be thanking your mom for being alive in this room. She agreed to take a blood oath never to expose me. Thereafter, both of us swore never to let you leave this room alive. Except you also agree to take a blood oath never to expose us. Deal. Over my dead body. No deal. And God will punish you too. Brenda, for God's sake, we are your parents. Listen to us for once. You're my parents. And my father raped me. And you agreed with him to commit the sin of blood oath taking. To hide this outrageous crime. And you two tied me up like, like a common dog. <clears throat> Enough of this, Willie, okay? And you listen to me. In this situation, except we are guaranteed of your silence. Even a rabies infested local thug is of more value to us than you. We are not happy about what happened. But for our reputation's sake, we cannot risk being exposed by you. Never. We are prominent people in the society. No. You are prominent devils in the society. And God will punish you too. Brenda, stop wallowing in moral delusion. Listen to us. Obey us. Damn you, mom. Listen. I am your mother. You have no right to disrespect me. You will do as we say. And as it stands, I am with your father on this. Do this for us. For my sake, for your own sake. Do it. You heard your mother, right? We're in this together. We're in league. Allies. And you know, you stand no chance against us. Deal. God will punish the two of you for everything you have done to me. Both of you will die. You will die a shameful death. I hate you. You will die and you will perish in hell. God punish you. God will never forgive you. Oh. It's okay. It's all right. I don't leave finger her anymore. But she has to do as I say. And you listen to me attentively. I made you an offer. Deal or no deal. You want to hear my pig on your offer? I'd rather make a deal with the devil than with you damn so. I am the devil himself! In this situation, daughter, 
I am the devil himself. You will make a deal with me. Or die here in this room. Painfully. Slowly. And miserably. I will ask you for the last time. Deal. No deal. Mr. Devil. Room. Is she dead? What do you mean, is she dead? Are you wishing her death? Tiki, what is wrong with you? Please, when it comes to my daughter, do not mention death. Sometimes you act as if you. you... Hey, 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 hey! Please. I'm not done with this nonsense right now. As you can see, I'm busy. Don't you dare tell me you are busy! Don't you try it! Today is the third day she has refused to eat or drink anything! She's getting weaker and weaker every day! Don't you have conscience? Don't you? Any moment from now, anything might happen to that girl! What exactly do you want me to do? Anything! Anything at all! I need my child to eat and stay alive for me. Your aloofness in this whole thing is totally unacceptable. I've been alive. And still troubling us. It's your doing. Remember? Oh my God. Oh my God. He's still wishing her death. Listen. If anything happens to my only child i will damn the threats and expose everything you will damn i will do it and do it. i will you don't even know what i'm capable of doing don't even dare me the doctor declared me barren after her birth i am a mother do you know what it means it means i can't have a child anymore i will not watch my only child die it will not happen not when i'm alive Sweetheart, we've worked so hard all our lives. We shouldn't compromise anything of our reputation in the society. Look at you. You are an honorable member of the House of Representatives. You have purchased the form to contest for Senate. And you know, you and I know, nothing can stop you from winning the forthcoming election. What about me? I am a justice of the appeal court. A man whose name has been penciled down for elevation to the Supreme Court. We have achieved a lot. Nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing should tarnish our image right now. Brenda. I said, Brenda. If she wants to kill herself, let her kill herself. Let's not compromise, okay? Listen to me. If it's children, we can, we can always adopt lots of children, boys, girls, no! everywhere. No! No! I will not! I have my child and I will keep her alive! You 
want to see her eat, right? Time to eat, Brenda. I am not eating. I'd rather die than to eat this food. <laughs> ah. Brenda, listen to me. You eat this food right here and right now. Okay? I don't care. Willingly or unwillingly, you're eating this food. I will shove it down your truth. And if you refuse to eat, I won't just do that. I will shove the spoon, the dish, down your throat. If you live, after that you live. If you die, you die. Hey, honey, please take it easy. Yes, take out of this. to continue like this. Look, I know your father too well. I know him more than you think you do. When your father makes up his mind, he doesn't change it for anything. Even if you grow gray hair in this room, your father will never let you out unless you take the oath. What about my mother? A fellow woman like me. Look, I... I understand your audio. But right now, my hands are tied. There is nothing I can do. By who? I took a blood off with your father. Promising him that I will never expose his old days to anybody. To me, what is worse than death is my sexual orientation going public. I was one of the honorable members that supported the bill against the LGBT community in Nigeria. I spoke against it in news conferences and seminars. I quarreled with activists around the world because of this same thing. Your father and I locked some LGBT community members in the prison. As we speak, some of them have served almost 14 years in prison. What about the women I slept with? How do you think they will feel if this news comes out in public? How do you think they will see me? That the thing I spoke against, I fought against, I am practicing it. Look, Brenda, you will have to take this oath. It's a must. You have no choice. What about Madame Helen? Do you think she will keep quiet forever? Because she started behaving like someone who snapped out of spell the moment I saw the both of you. Helen is no more. She died in her car on her way home. You know what I did? While pretending to beg for her forgiveness, I dabbed her face with an handkerchief laced with a powerful nerve agent. A sniff of this powerful nerve agent kills a human being within 10 minutes. That's what exactly killed her. The dead do not speak, do they? Jesus Christ. She's more evil than I thought. 
when it comes to keeping my secrets, protecting my sexual orientation, nothing is considered evil. You're a mother, mom. You carried me for nine months in your womb. And you went through the pain of childbirth. You suckled me with those breasts on your chest for God's sake. Listen, Brenda. This emotional blackmail will not save your situation. Even if I decide to face the consequences of being exposed, I will not ruin the lives of other women involved for your sake. I will not do it. You can't ruin your lesbian partner. You view exposing them as unfair. What about me, mom? What about your blood? Are you being fair to me? Are you being fair to me in all of this? Brenda, you will have to embrace the reality of what you are in now. It's two weeks since you were raped. Enough of it! Have you ever been raped, Mom? Have you ever imagined how it feels for a young girl like me to be raped by her own father? And I say again, you will have to get over it. I know it's painful. It's sad. It's an unfortunate situation. But you cannot ruin your life because of this incident. You have to move on. You two have already ruined my life. You two have already ruined my life. Oh my god! Oh my god! DK! DK! You are out there! I can't see! I know you are there! Look at what you've got! Don't you dare move! Stop on me! Go and stay right there! Are you serious? Huh? With what happened two days ago, the worst in mom and dad has been brought out. Even wild animals can feel love and pity for me more than they do at the moment. They now hate me so much that they no longer give a hoot if I live or die. Over five times since then, mom has told me to my face that if I keep wasting my time in agreeing to take the oath, her patience will run out and she will allow that to go ahead and give me the lethal injection he procured for me and then the consequences for her own self. After all that I have gone through already, I cannot allow my life to end like that. The only thing that has kept me going since that cost night has been my determination to survive this ordeal. Escape at any opportunity I get and expose them to the world. Revenge and pursuit of justice has been the driving force behind my resilience so far. But now that they have resorted to using starvation to force me into submission, if I keep resisting them, they will starve me to death sooner than later. Where would I leave my revenge and justice pursuit? Mom was right. It's time for me to face reality. Time to face my sad reality.
this cup. Contains the blood of our three of us. Biding us, bodies and spirits in a covenant of life and death. Repeat after me, Brenda. As I drink from this sacred bloody brew, as I drink from this sacred bloody blue, I bind myself. I bind myself to eternal secrecy and silence. To, to internal secrets and silence. Over everything I have heard and experienced in this house. Over everything that I have had and experienced in this house. For the past 17 days. For the past 17 days. And if I ever determine to change my mind. And if I ever determine to change my mind. May I drop dead. Me. Me. May, may I drop dead. Even before I produce any word against the oath. Even, even before I produce any word against the oath. I take this oath before God and man. I take this oath. Before God and man. Have it. Drink. Go ahead. Honey, you're back. Our worst fear have been confirmed. Brenda is pregnant. You should be proud of yourself. You impregnated your own child. So tell me, what are we going to do now? Because as it stands, I am so disappointed at you. Is he aware yet? There's no way I would have told her such abominable thing in the public hospital. And you're not going to tell her here either. Can you cover our pregnancy? Sooner or later, everyone will find out about it. We can't even consider abortion because of our faith. We are Christians. Christians? Christians who are guilty of the sin of lesbianism. Incest. Blackmail. 
blood oath taken and torture of the innocent. What difference would it make if we add the killing of an unborn child to the list to protect our image in the society? Oh God. Oh God. Will I ever be clean again in this life? Put yourself together. Let's plan this out. Okay? By the way, what did you tell her at the hospital? I told her the doctor said she has typhoid fever and malaria. Typhoid fever and malaria. Good one. So we'll get her an abortion pill in place of typhoid fever and malaria drugs. But how do you even think? Are you this heartless? What if she bleeds to death or dies? What is wrong with you? We will come up with a believable story about the bleeding. And she's not dying. Cheer up, okay? Cheer up. Everything will be fine. teenager a very strong abortion pill and abandon her all along the room why that's because I couldn't stand the excruciating pain that is bound to follow knowing fully well that I'm behind it I am her mother her own mother what are you talking about I thought we've gone deep into this already for this emotional bullshit talk. You said you left the room immediately, you gave her the pill. So who's going to take care of her? Once she starts bleeding, so that she doesn't panic and mess things up. That's the part I cannot stand. That's bleeding. She's my daughter. 
my only child. The blood in question is a human being we both conspired to murder. Don't you feel somehow about this whole thing? Sweetheart, let's be realistic here. Your only daughter is having an abortion you and I planned and executed without telling her. You are supposed to be with her. Even if not to take care of her, but to sustain the lies we told her about everything. You are a nurse! It's a woman thing. behind us. So you two are behind us. Pain and bleeding I have been having. Oh God. So this is abortion. So you both conspired to commit such sinful crime. You like me to be part of it. You both have done your worst. You both have done your worst, mommy and dad. The last time you murdered my soul. But this time you simply buried me alive. God, if you don't kill these people right now. Then I will believe that you do not exist. Kill them! Kill them for me! Kill them! Leave me alone! Kill them for me! Kill them! Brenda, for how long will you continue to be like this? How long will you continue to cry? I understand how you feel. I'm a mother. Every pain you feel, I also feel it. I'm sorry about the abortion pills I give to you. I just couldn't watch you give birth to, to a child that will bring disgrace to you. You want to have a child for your father. That's an abomination. It's a taboo. You won't even love the child. Because the child will always remind you of the evil thing your father did to you. You really have to stop crying. Stop harming yourself. Let the past go. You have a bright future ahead of you. We are sorry. Your father and I, we are sorry. We, it will never repeat itself again. We will protect you from evil ahead of you henceforth. We are deeply sorry. You're the only child I've got and I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Please stop crying. Please. I'm so sorry. Whatever I did, I did for your own good. I'm sorry. Please. Baby, it's okay. Shall we hurt you, okay? Let's just give her time to, to deal. Let's go.
killed my child. I, how did you? You've killed my daughter! What has come over? Look at what you've done! You've killed my child! What? You've killed my child, DK! DK! See what your evil has done! Calm down! You've killed my daughter! You've told me to calm down! Don't tell me to calm down! Don't tell me to calm down! Look! I thought I was touching the floor. She's getting better. Thank you for suggesting that she be put into coma. Because the violent behavior she displayed when she regained consciousness, only God knows what her case would have been by now without that. That calls for deep thinking in our own part. We have to find a solution before the Coma drug runs its course on a body. Solution? What kind of solution? We did what we did. She knows what she knows. What can we possibly do now? Wipe her brain out? Tell her some kind of story that will make her think less bad of what happened. Like what? I'm thinking. You think too. How can I make myself clear that I don't want to see the God of you near me? We are here because we have a confession to make to you. I am not interested. Brenda. Like your mom said, we have a confession to make. And you have to listen. For your own good at least. 
I am not your biological father. Uh, your, your mother was already pregnant for her ex a few months before our wedding. I only got to know a few weeks later. But I didn't leave her because I love her. Mom, that is lying, right? He's just saying this to make me feel less bad about being raped and impregnated by him, right? Your dad is right. We ought to have told you this before now, but... Stop, Mom! Stop! Who is my father? Brenda, your father is late. He died in a plane crash in Canada years ago. I'm sorry you're just getting to know about this now. We are so sorry.
end of your life on wickedness, Dad. Join her! Brenda, what do you think you're doing? What happened? She now knows the truth. Including the lies you told her about her paternity. And who told her? Who, who told her? That's not necessary. Brenda. I know you are angry at us. I know I hurt you so much. What I'm going to say might be very difficult for you to believe, but that's the truth. Everything I did to you, I did them to you because I was threatened by your father. He said if I didn't cooperate with him that he would kill you. And I didn't want to lose you because you're the only child I've got. I'm sorry for all the evil things I did to you. I'm so sorry. I'm not saying this to patronize you. You can go ahead and kill me if you want to. But do not forget to kill your father. So you can live and thrive because as long as he's alive, you would never leave. Nora. Your father is the devil himself. Your father is very heartless. And he doesn't deserve to leave. Nora. My daughter. Please. Go ahead and make use of the gun. I don't mind you killing me. But you must kill him. Take me serious! What did you just say? Ask you how to kill me? Your husband? Are you out of your senses? Are you out of your... Oh! Oh! Jesus! What have you done? Jesus, let me stop! Stop! Oh. 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 Stop! What are you doing? Just cleared my conscience. I've been wanting to do this since the day I realized he raped you. Now my conscience is free. Hello, Commissioner. My name is Honorable Nora Dike. I just killed my husband. Please come to the house and arrest me. Okay. You're free now.
Of the day, but I fly in the 